Welcome back. I'm still Natasha and this video is all about radio. Radio was actually a big piece of the puzzle for my bike project because I wanted to add lights to my wheels. And you can't run a wire between the frame of a bike and the interior of the wheel because it'll just continue to get tangled. So if I wanted my wheels to match my frame, I'd have to create some type of wireless connection between the two. And that's why having an onboard radio on these boards is so cool because I can have one be the controller and another be the receiver and the two can be anywhere I want. So that means I could have a controller on the handlebar of my bike that's controlling the bike below. I can have the wheels matching the frame, matching the helmet, and I can even have my bike matching all of my friends' bikes. So you'll want to get a second micro bit to be the controller and one micro bit can control a group of many other micro bits. V1 and V2 micro bits both have a radio and can talk to one another. So don't worry about the version that you have. So let's jump in and add radio communication to our code. In the last video, we set up a system of modes that can be selected using the A and B buttons on the micro bit. In this video, we'll add radio functionality so that we can change the mode remotely. Every micro bit has its own low powered Bluetooth radio. You can see the little antenna right here. It lets us send and receive data between micro bits. To add radio functionality, let's look at our radio drawer. The first block is radio set group. I'll drag this to my on start block. This block is like setting the channel on your radio. All radios on the same channel can communicate with each other. So if you're in an area where other micro bits might be used, it's smart to choose a channel that's unique to your project or your group of friends. But for now, I'll just leave it at one. Setting a channel could allow you and your friends to communicate on one channel while another group of friends communicates on a different channel within the same big bike ride. Next, I'll go back to my radio drawer and select this block on radio received received number and drag it to my workspace. You'll notice that this one is also a square block, so it runs when something happens. In this case, it runs when a micro bit receives a number over radio. We want to set the mode based on the number that we receive. So I'll go get the set block from the variables drawer and place it inside this block. Then I'll drag the received number bubble to the set block, similarly to the way that we dragged parameters to our functions in a previous video. Now, whenever the micro bit receives a radio communication that's a number, it will insert the number into the set mode block and the mode will be set. Now let's make it so that our code also sends the mode to other micro bits. I'll go back to the radio drawer and select radio send number this time. But when do I want to send the number? right after the mode changes, right? So I'll place it inside my on button A press block right below the change mode block. And the number that I want to send is the mode. So I'll drag the mode variable into place. Now, when I press button A, the mode will change and the radio will send the new mode to other micro bits on radio group one. And I'll just copy and paste this so that when the mode is changed by button B, the same thing happens. And if button A and B are pressed, it's set back to one. That's another change. So every time the mode is changed, the mode is also being sent out to other micro bits. So let's look at the simulator. Let's enlarge it this time so we can see more. Now, every time that the mode is changed by pressing a button, the mode is also sent over radio to all the other micro bits in that radio group. And if another micro bit changes the mode, this micro bit receives the number and sets the mode on this micro bit to match. This is also a great way to make a simple remote. Even though this micro bit doesn't have any NeoPixels attached to it, you don't even need to change the code. It will send the mode based on the button presses to other micro bits. I mentioned this in an earlier video, but when your code is in the middle of a function and the mode changes, it finishes the function before checking if the mode changed. So if you have a function with a lot of pauses, you will see the mode change just after it's done. So that's it. Now you have the ability to make two or more micro bits talk to each other via radio. So now our micro bits are communicating in beautiful harmony. <sighs> I wish the whole world was like this. Now that you understand the basics of radio, why not incorporate other projects into your build? 
The next video is all about the many form factors that NeoPixels come in. Are you ready to set up even more types of bling? I'll see you there.